All right, all right. Now, I know what you're all thinking. Okay, great. They're giving us a Dungeons & Dragons movie, but what we really want is a movie about Pez dispensers. Amen! Well, there's good news for all seven of you out there because the Three <laughs> Stooges and brother-in-law writer Cameron Frey has been hired to write and develop a Pez movie. Envision Media Arts CEO and founder Lee Nelson said, With Cameron Frey, we've created a world unique to Pez and a story that will touch the hearts of many. Schnapp, how undeniably excited are you for the upcoming Pez movie? <laughs> Can't wait for this. It's amazing. When uh, just last week <laughs> we were talking about the Emoji. amazing brains behind Hollywood productions coming up with a, mo- a, a, a battle, a fight over the rights to make a movie about emojis. A, a battle was a, it was a, a bidding war. I think it was the right word. Apparently, the pitch mm-hmm. was so good, multiple yeah. studios wanted it. Someone came up with an incredible idea about how to tell the story of the Emoji family or whatever it's going to be. <laughs> And here now today we have Pez, the movie. <laughs> so I was just earlier today, just I was ha- having a delicious, tasty bite of one of these Twizzlers, mm-hmm. and I was like, oh "It's my. a red vine schnapp." Blasphemy! <laughs> <laughs> I thought, why not make Twizzler the movie? I mean, I think e- easily we could come up with a storyline in about thirty-five seconds and have these idiots in Hollywood create a bidding war over it. I mean, because I'm I'm at a loss for words. <laughs> words will come out of my mouth, but I don't know what they're going to say or mean. Um, it's the most idiotic thing I've I've heard this entire year. I thought emojis was stupid, and I thought emojis was the like the the bit the literal scraping of the bottom of the barrel of crap that Hollywood is going to offer us in next year and the following few years. But Pez is the the biggest and stupidest thing I could possibly imagine being made. Uh, <laughs> Ever. Pez the movie. It's it's beyond stupid. It should just be called Pez the movie beyond stupid is what it should be called. It's so dumb that it's almost not worth talking about, but that because it's actually not in the onion and actually in Hollywood Reporter and the <laughs> variety, we have to talk about it. We have to talk about Pez as an actual movie. Yeah, that thing, a little plastic thing that you open the neck up and odd candies come out of their necks. I always thought that was weird. I remember uh maybe a year or two ago i always get tired when i hear people say the people bring up us any kind of property they want say well john if this property x if it had the right writer and the right director and the right cast and i would always say well that is a ridiculous argument because you could say that about anything and then i made up this character called uh felipe the sentient dancing microphone mm-hmm. and i said you could if you had the right director and the right script and the right actors and the right studio and everything you could have felipe the sentient dancing microphone you know solving problems and rescuing dogs and you could do that that is a better idea this sh- Pez is a far worse idea than Felipe the Sentient Dancing Microphone. Where is my Hollywood bidding war? Where are the studios lining up to give me bags of money for Felipe? Pez! You know, when I think of Pez, the only thing I think of is that one episode of Seinfeld when they were where, yeah, when, when they're in um, uh, the recital mm-hmm. and Jerry offers a lame one Pez who starts laughing. That's all I think of. So... Maybe they get Jerry Seinfeld and they get her back too. Maybe there's a movie there. I, I am. St- this sounds like a joke. It sounds like a joke that a comedian would tell on stage about how low Hollywood has gotten. Mm, like, what's right. next? A Pez movie? Ha ha ha! No, it's real. You it's know, real. Mark. I, I'm in a bind here, guys. Because, first of all, fun fact about Felipe, the sentient dancing microphone, <laughs> Zap the Wizard brought him to life. <laughs> so you can write that into the backstory of your gonna... movie in the prequel. Um, <sighs> this is tough for me because I did defend the fact that there's an emoji movie coming out because I was like, hey, look, look what they did with Lego. Look at what they do with these other properties. And they have all these emotions. Inside Out is about emotion. So you can have something based on this. To the Pez movie, I have to give it the turd emoji. I can't <laughs> greenlight this thing. It feels like the Lego movie is like Motley Crue in 1983 when everybody loved that. And so now we're going to have all these clones. Yeah. And now we have all these hair metal bands. Like this is the white lion of this particular <laughs> genre. It, it's gone too far and I feel bad. I'm part of the problem. I said the emoji movie was going to be good. I don't know where you take Pez in. If I could play devil's advocate, Cameron Faye surprised me with the Three Stooges movie. He made that actually funnier than 
than I thought it would be. I thought it was going to be a train wreck, and it was only a moderate fender bender. So <laughs> that's something in the positive side. I just don't know how this can make people like it. See, with me, going back to the whole thing about emojis, I bought it too. But the only reason I bought it was because apparently these guys came up with a pitch that was so good that not not only did they convince a studio to buy into it, they convinced multiple studios that they had to have it and a bidding war. So I went, mm, and because of the Lego movie, I thought, you know what? I'm I'm curious. I want to see this. This is just this is that slippery slope everybody tells you about. This is that like I'm uh, seriously, what's next? What's next? I couldn't even Emoji, begin to Emoji, yeah. Pez, Pez dispensers and Twizzler. Twizzler, but the movie. Next. Here's the problem with Pez though too is it is it Pez is just based on other famous people. Right. So the Lego movie did that so well that it now it's going to look like such a clone at least the Emoji movie could have an original story. The Pez movie it's just going to be Woody Woodpecker hanging out with Boba Fett and it's like cool but we've seen that already. And they don't have bodies. At least in Lego, they had bodies. Now they're all like headless, and their necks have to break open, and weird things come out. It's like a horror movie. I think Pez should be a horror movie. That, see, now you got now me. we're on to something. All Pez. Right. I will roll horror to see. Unleashed. I will roll to see if Pez can be a good idea for a movie. No, That's no, it does not. Failure. Not, it's a fail. All right, folks. That was a pretty high roll. It was a high roll, though. That was, was a pretty like, high roll. It was like a seventeen. <laughs>